I just got the Deeper Connect Air, and it is the most compact version yet. With no wires or removable parts, all you need to do is add a power source. Now, if you're wondering where I'm at, I happen to be at Hooters in Taiwan with Eric Ma, who is very focused on the lunch show at the moment. And at Hooters Taiwan, they have a show at lunch and in the evening. Now, you're probably wondering why we're here, and that's because it's just good American food. There aren't a lot of great American restaurants in Taipei, but Hooters is pretty good. They have delicious nachos and wings. That's, that's what we go there for. So in this video, we're going to go over the new Deeper Connect Air. We're going to unbox it. We're going to go over how it works and how it compares to previous products, as well as going over the pros and cons. Maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not. Maybe you don't like burning your hands. And uh, yeah, this is an unbiased review. It is not sponsored. So you're going to get the true opinion of me, Dan. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Dan. There isn't another one on this channel, at least not at the moment. And uh, if you like the content, feel free to stick around for the whole video and like the video. Yeah, those are things we do. All right, with that, let's get started. Unboxing the new Deeper Connect Air. So let's go over what's inside the box. It is the Deeper Connect Air device. And you can see that everything is one piece. Everything is laser cut. The antennas are built into the device, as you can see, and the packaging also includes a USB-C to USB-A adapter. Now, if you want to get started with it, all you need is power. It doesn't necessarily need to connect to your computer, but if you are connecting it to a laptop, yeah, it's easy. You just connect it in there and it takes the power from your laptop. Now, an alternative to this would be just using like a power bank. You just connect it and as long as it has power, it's going to start running the network. So now that I have this plugged in, in a moment, we're going to be able to look at our Wi-Fi connections and see something by Deeper Network. So after plugging in the device, I waited about three minutes and then I was able to see Deeper Wi-Fi pop up. And yours is going to say something similar. It's going to say Deeper Wi-Fi and then several numbers at the end. So I'm going to connect to this network and the password by default is going to be I love deeper. I know that is one of the negative points. I think they could improve on a less uh, awful password, I guess. I don't know. It's a uh, could use improvement. Then if you look at the back of your deeper connect air device, you're going to find your admin IP address. It's going to be 11, 22, 33, 44 or 34 four times. We're going to put that IP into a web browser and then we're going to be able to log in. So now that we're connected, we're going to want to put in the admin password, which is just again, I love deeper and username admin. And for myself, the value of this device is using it on a public Wi-Fi network. So I did that. I went to a cafe and connected the device there. Now I was at a cafe that didn't have free Wi-Fi, but it was next to a Starbucks. It was just less crowded. So that's why I went there. So I'm going to walk you through the process and it's basically you scanning for the network you want to connect to. You connect to it. And if there's a pop up like for a hotel or a Starbucks and it doesn't appear, you're going to have to connect to it without the deeper network device. You're going to then copy the web address of that pop up. And then you're going to go back to deeper network, connect through, through there, scan. And then once you scan and connect, and then you open up a new browser tab and then input that URL from that pop up. That's going to give you access to hit that connect button and then you'll be connected to that public Wi-Fi. I know it's it sounds a little complicated, but it's basically you just finding that pop up URL and then using it through the deeper network. So right now I'm on my home network and we're going to connect to this thing. So I'm going to hit connect, going to put in the Wi-Fi password for this. And we're connected. So now that we are connected, we have the full deeper network dashboard here, and then we can set our DPN. That is our IP address. There are several modes to this. So smart route, full route or disabled. Disabled means you're not using the services of deeper network. Smart route is going to give you the fastest connection to the destination that you want. 
for certain websites and full route is just gonna be you fully connected through someone else's IP address. And then in tunnel here, we can select the different regions we wanna connect to. If we wanna connect to North America and we wanna connect to Mexico, we can add that as a connection. You can see that several connections have been pre-populated in the list here. You can see the region, country, active tunnel number. I think that means how many people are actually connected to it and our active IP address. Now in the event that the IP address that we got is slow, we can just switch the IP address and that'll give us a new IP and hopefully a faster connection. And if we want to switch to this IP address, that's it. We are now using this network and we are in the USA according to our IP address at the moment. Now Deeper Network also has App Relocator where you might be using certain services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Crunchyroll, and you want to set it to a certain country so you can access that content. Now by default, your Deeper Network device is going to have the ad blocker enabled, it's going to block trackers, and it's going to block malware. If you're having any issues loading certain sites, you might want to disable it, but by default, you are safe. So those are the two big benefits to having the Deeper Connect device. You have a VPN where you can connect to anywhere and it makes it easy to access content as well as having a built-in pop-up blocker and malware blocker. So if you have kids or family or older relatives that aren't good with pop-ups and just might accidentally click anything, then you'll very likely find these devices incredibly useful. Pros and cons. So let's look at the deeper connect air and we're going to go over the pros and cons. There's just a few. First off, I really like the compact design that is very beneficial. It's very easy. From the previous generations, there were a bunch of wires to take care of. It looked a little bit messy and this is a much more clean setup. But the problem is it's a little too clean where if you have this plugged into your laptop, it's just gonna hover, and then I'm afraid of messing up my laptop port if I happen to press on it too hard. So this isn't really designed for every laptop, and it also partially covers the ports. So maybe in a future iteration, we could see like a USB stick that doesn't cover up the ports, maybe a longer device, and definitely something that is cooler that doesn't burn your hand. So that is another negative point. This device gets hot super fast. You could have this powered on for like 10 minutes and it's gonna get very hot. And your fingers might get a little burned. Not like severe burns or anything, but it's gonna feel very hot and you're gonna pull your hand away. So those are my three negative points. One, it gets very hot. Number two, it can cover multiple ports on your laptop if you are connecting it that way. And three, there's no kickstand, so it's just gonna hover there. That's not a problem, but it does have the potential of messing up your laptop port if something happens to fall on the device. So you gotta be a little careful there. Now there are a few solutions to these problems, of course. Maybe if they made it a little bigger and added some kind of cooling to it, maybe if they added some type of uh, protective layer so you don't burn your hands when you pick it up, maybe if they adjusted the antennas where it would kick out a little bit so then it would be able to stand on your desk. So I do see a future generation of these devices where they resolve these problems. But if you want something very simple and easy to carry, then this is for you. Personally, I wouldn't recommend actually leaving this on your laptop. I would just use a power bank or just an outlet because you don't necessarily need the device plugged into your computer. It just needs power. And as it has power and connects to the internet, that, that's all you need it for. So I do like that Deeper Network continues to innovate and improve their products. I think this is a big improvement, but I think there could have been a few more because if they actually used this on a laptop and touched it after 10 minutes, they would say, hey, we gotta add something here so people don't burn their fingers. And for myself, I, I actually bring these devices when I travel because it's incredibly useful. If you happen to be on a hotel Wi-Fi, which is 
very crappy, like certain chain hotels that make you log in every 24 hours and might limit your devices, then a deeper connect is gonna save you a huge headache instead of having to reconnect and log in every 24 hours on every device you own. You just have to connect this device one time to that Wi-Fi and then every 24 hours re-log in on it while all your other devices connect to this network. So for myself, I find it incredibly useful when at hotels, if I want to use my Roku, I hate typing in passwords on that thing. If I want to use my iPad or multiple cell phones, having one network that all my devices already know and can connect to automatically just makes life a lot simpler. Now, I do like that Deeper Network is building up this hardware. It's very useful. They are building this network of people connecting to each other. But as far as the token goes and tokenomics, it isn't great. There isn't a lot of use cases where you would actually need the token, at least not yet. I have heard that they are working on that. But at the moment, we're just going to ignore the token. I am a holder just because I was very optimistic about the project before the price went significantly down in the bear market. So I'm in there and hanging in. So I'm really hoping for more improvements and more use cases of the token as the network gets built out. I'm sure in the future we're going to continue to see deeper network and these deeper connect devices evolve and provide more value. But uh, at the moment, I'd be very careful about any type of investing and I just see a lot of value in the product itself as a VPN and it's very useful as I've experienced through their previous devices. So if you are interested in getting one of these, I'm going to have a referral link in the description that would help out this channel. And let me know in the comments if you actually use a VPN and if you have used Deeper Network before or if you would be interested in going to Hooters Taiwan. That, that's also a thing. All right, with that, I hope you got your full value for today.